I don't know what is this. What is it? If you want to find out what this slimy creature is and why the people in Fiji are harvesting it, follow me. Last time, we took you to one of the planet's most popular diving spots, the Great White Wall. We returned a few more times to Rainbow Reef to discover some more of its underwater wonders. cover about 1% of the world's oceans, but about a quarter of all fish species live here. Rainbow Reef is one of about a thousand coral reefs in Fiji with incredibly varied underwater world. The constant year-round temperatures and strong tidal current create perfect conditions for coral and fish to thrive. Rainbow Reef is among the best coral reefs in the South Pacific, rated by Scuba Diver magazine as the soft coral capital of the world. With over 390 species of corals home to over 1,500 species of fish, many unique to Fiji. The strong tidal current from the depths of the coral sea through the shallow waters of the strait provide the necessary nutrients for the polyps of soft coral. Soft corals are filter feeding hunters and gatherers composed of a flexible protein called horn, so they cannot build reefs. Hard corals are the engineers and farmers of the sea. Polyps of hard coral secrete a stony calcium carbonate skeleton and then gang up to form colonies with a large stony structure. Each animal is small, but given time and favorable conditions, they build amazingly large structures, the shallow water coral reefs. The stony corals use a different feeding strategy. Most contain a symbiotic algae that turns sunlight into food for both the algae and polyp so they need clear shallow water and sunlight to survive. There are 21 dive sites in Rainbow Reef of which the most popular ones are the Great White Wall, which we showed you in our last episode, the Fish Factory, the Zoo, Rainbow's End, and our all-time favorite, the Cabbage Patch. The Cabbage Patch is a sloping dive with depths ranging between 3 and 18 meters with a huge area covered in layers and layers of yellow underwater cabbages. These cabbages are made of salad corals with fragile coral plates.
dive is one of the shallowest in Rainbow Reef and even unexperienced divers like my mom are safe to check it out, especially at low tide. Here in the beautiful Vianney Bay, we said goodbye to our friends Gilles, Steph, Sam, and Tom aboard Catamaran Mercredi Soir, an elegant Katana 42. For guys, à tout à l'heure. See you, see you somewhere. We sailed for two years together with our friends from French Polynesia to Tonga and New Zealand. The friendship and the memories we share from our journey will remain forever in our hearts. We met the locals in the village of Vianney Bay. Oh! <laughs> 
dad is learning to play rugby. Evo playing rugby for a first time. The bald guy running around is Evo, my dad playing rugby. Go, Evo, go! One of Evo's new friends was a guy working as dive guide for tourists. The next day he showed us a couple more snorkeling and diving locations. Guess where? Rainbow Reef. We kept going back. It's so unbelievably beautiful. the Christmas tree worms. They lived in tubes made of sand and shell fragments cemented together with mucus. The worms are shaped like Christmas trees, composed of feathery feeding tentacles called radioles. Any prey trapped in them is transported to the worm's mouth. The kids in Viani Bay play by the beach.
Anything can be fun to play with, even a wasp. Seen it. I never seen such thing. snake-like creature is a sea cucumber. The locals in Fiji harvest sea cucumbers, process them and sell them to the Chinese markets. In the island of Yadua, we met a group of fishermen and their families. On the west side of the island, which is less than one square kilometer in size, is the wide Kukuvau Harbor, where they fish and dive for lobsters. They also collect sea cucumbers. The bay is their temporary campsite. Their village is on the other side of the island where the fishermen return to bring their catch once every week. There are about 20 people living here in temporary shelters and tents. The men go out to fish in the reefs mostly at night, while the women clean the fish, cook and take care of the kids. The catch is being loaded on one of the two fishing boats to be brought to the village on the other side of the island to be sold at the local market. I 
How many days do you stay here? One week. week. One week. What's your name again? Mira. Mira. And you? Sai. Sai? Va. Hey, you got me one arm. Boy. Boy. Okay. Uh, you can give us some sugar. So you need sugar? What else do you need? Rice? But fishing is not the main reason why these people spend so many days here, away from their village. Their main activity is harvesting and processing sea cucumbers. So it has guts, this thing. Sorry? You have to take off the guts? Yeah, take off the thing inside. Then burn it. Yeah. Sea cucumbers are important for the health of the reef ecosystem. They eat fine food particles mixed with sand, digest bacteria and dead microorganisms and poop back clean sand. So they kind of recycle sand. Over harvesting sea cucumbers can be bad for the environment, so the locals only take the adult animals, leaving the rare species to reproduce. There are 1000 species of sea cucumbers, but only 20 are harvested in the Pacific Islands. The price depends on the species of sea cucumber, its size, as well as how well it has been processed. Asian consumers pay good money for well-processed sea cucumbers. Processing sea cucumbers means turning the fresh ones into dried ones called beige de mer. The process is long and involves cutting and cleaning them, salting them for 2 to 5 days, boiling, smoking and drying the sea cucumbers. In China, they are sold at a very high price along with shark fins and other dried seafood. The Chinese people consider as delicacy these suspicious looking slimy snails and eat them at celebrations and special occasions. Would you try a sea cucumber? Thank you for stopping by. I hope you learned something today. Please subscribe to our channel and share our awesome videos. Don't be shy to leave a comment and watch our next episode.